Leftover dinner, today's lunch. I didn't. Yeah, you're the kid going to school. I'm the mom. Oh wow, the roommate that never was. <laughs> and this? No, I'll sit in the car. Oh man, do I have some explaining to do. Yesterday was a nightmare. No, dude, me and Sabrina made some dinner last night. Oh, Brought it extra. Hi, did you steal my Tupperware? Is, is this yours? Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. That is not yours. All right, let's see the mess. That is my garage. I mean, pretty much Ripperino so far. Unfortunately, Ripperino. And Ripper fucking Reno. Now, all of this didn't happen all at the same time. I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard some things and have made quick judgments. But I will say this, none of this is baby girl's fault. All of this is this asshole's fault. But before I get into this whole entire mess of what was yesterday, I still need to edit the video for you guys going out today. And time is running out very quickly. Yeah, I didn't even have to do anything and I scared him. Let's go! Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Just finished uploading Just finished the vlog. Uploading the vlog. Okay, I have a small dick. Uh, that's all I got. Watch your mouth. Thank you, brother. The weekend was great. We had so much fun. The car drove amazingly. But the X5 had a little mishap. And it was not the car's fault. This was not the car's fault. This was just the tire's fault. Before we go any farther, one of you actually gave me a new energy drink that I've been meaning to try out. Cherried out NOS. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now I wasn't vlogging yesterday just because it was just a simple drive home, it wasn't interesting. There were a bunch of events that happened yesterday that would have been pretty uh, pretty entertaining. So I'm gonna do my best to walk you through exactly what just happened. So everyone out there who is saying that my BMW is not a good tow rig, this had nothing to do with the car at all. This was totally not related to the car. This was related to the wheels and tires that are on the car, which I take blame for. When I bought the car, it had the current setup that it has, which is not the highest quality. I didn't know it was like not safe or not the best idea to trailer with super, super small tires. Obviously now looking back at it, I'm like an obvious, like I guess it would have made an impact, but I didn't know it at the time and I didn't think much of it. Started towing home and then I started to develop a little bump in the car. I was like, okay, what's going on? There has been a wheel, why are we bumping? What's going on? Pulled over, noticed there was an air bubble that had developed in the rear left tire. Being that it is a Sunday and in the middle of Vegas, in the middle of nowhere driving home, there was no place that had a spare tire or a place that I could get a tire mounted or do anything in the area. That wasn't an option. A lot of you are like, well, why didn't you just use a spare? The X5 comes with a spare, but the X5M doesn't come with a spare, so I don't have a spare for the car. And you wouldn't tow on a spare anyway. Towing on a spare would be a terrible idea. Long story short, after everyone's like opinions were fed, like we all pulled over and looked at it, we decided the only option there was was to keep on driving and to see how far we could actually make it. And if it did blow out, we'd have to figure out what we'd have to do. What do you know, about two hours into the ride, we had the blowout, we pulled over, we were stranded. I called AAA, I called my like towing company or whatever. They said they can't tow both cars. They said they could only tow the X5, not the trailer. And if they were to tow the X5 back to San Diego, it would cost me $1,200. That's insane. Luckily, one of our good friends, Joe, I'll put his Instagram here. You should go comment on his Instagram. Thank you for saving TJ. He was driving home from Vegas. He was two hours behind us. So what we did is we unhooked the trailer from the X5. Joe put this trailer on his car, and then we unloaded Kyle's 350 off his trailer, put my X5 on his trailer, and then Kyle, the homie, KL Fab, drove his unregistered 350 three hours home and didn't get caught. When we all made it home after all that mess, we got the car home, the day was saved. But just to add a little sprinkle on top of that, I had my jack tied down in the front of the trailer. I've had it there all weekend and that's it was a good spot to put it, so we had it tied down there. In the event of everything that happened yesterday, the tie down got loose, the jack flew forward and hit my radiator 
and put a hole in it and cracked it. Everything drained out of the car. That's fixable, that's replaceable, that's fine. But that's what happened yesterday. That was the biggest headache I've ever had. It was very stressful. The drive from Vegas to San Diego is about four and a half hours. It took us 10 hours to get home. It was a full day event. Everyone that was with us stayed and made sure that like we were good the whole entire time. Like two of our cars full of people could have went home and left, but they didn't and everyone stayed to help and that was awesome and if it wasn't for them I don't know what I would have done so thank you to everyone who helped me and I also reached out on snapchat and did all that stuff asking for you guys' help and a lot of you guys reached out luckily we found alternative options but a lot of you guys were willing to help and I want to say thank you for that so what our plan is today is I'm actually gonna trailer this with my truck back to Kyle's shop. I can't weld this aluminum with the welder I have here, so we need Kyle to do that at his shop. And also, what I'm gonna do with the X5, putting tires, I scared the shit out of me. Putting tires in the back of that car sucks and takes up a bunch of room. So what we are gonna do is I'm gonna drop the chair off at Kyle's and he's gonna weld up a shelf for me so I can pretty much make a tire rack on the trailer. So that will be a cool little addition and mod. Also for the meantime, I am ordering a spare tire for the bum X5 wheel. And we're gonna do this a band-aid for now. I'm gonna keep running those wheels. I actually just placed an order with HRE and they're currently making wheels for the X5M. So I couldn't be more than stoked on that. I'm not gonna give any details of which HRE I'm having made or anything about it. Although I will say it will take two to three weeks for the wheel to be made. They are all made custom order. Like HRE is like top of top. They're like the top dogs with custom wheels and just wheels in general. Ambit, I love you. Ambit's for my drift car. HREs are going on the X5M. Hey Evan, I need to tell you something. Nope, come back. Nope, come back here. Nope. Nope. I just want to tell you personally how many people hosed you for not going to Vegas. Literally, literally more than 50% of everyone who came up was like, dude, where's Evan? Where's Evan? Where's Evan? Evan doesn't know how to drift. He just crashes his cars into walls. So he doesn't, he doesn't do that stuff anymore. <laughs> Noble made us this sweet sign, so we put it up there. Thank you, Noble, for that. It is awesome, and I love it. Noble made that. Noble made that. He gives me freaking handicap stickers. Handicap stickers. Yeah, dude. Noble hooked it up with some sticks for you, man. Wow. <laughs> you can't even know what that means. <laughs> So assuming my car is finished and my trailer is finished by the end of this week, I'm gonna try to go to the track with Evan this weekend. I realized H2O is this weekend and I was talking I, know. I was just talking with Dustin about it and I was like, dude, I'm kind of down. But like I'm also kind of not so down. It's so expensive to get there like a week it's out. It's gonna be extremely expensive and we don't have anybody to go I don't with. have anybody to go with. I don't have a car. I don't have a place to stay. We could Airbnb, but I know they're probably all taken. Hotels will probably all I be really taken. I really to go, but it's just gonna be, the logistics are gonna be hard. I know, I'm like, me and Dustin were just talking about it. So to answer everyone's question, I'm not sure if we're gonna go. I'm, I like, I wanna try and go and I wanna try and make it happen, but I normally go with Andrew and Zev and I don't think this year they're gonna go, so. We don't have the same group of people that we used to go with, so I don't know if we're gonna try and make it out there, but it's, I'm trying. Let's make our own H2O. Yeah. Do our own in San Diego. And just let's just like schedule a good downpour here and Dude, go by the PCH. beach. Do it right on PCH. Get everybody from California just to start showing up. <laughs> Buys an expensive wheel, doesn't buy it the same tire. <laughs> That's a fucking blowout, boys. Let's load this up well, and get moving. Teach. I haven't told you guys about this yet, but we are doing a $4,000 giveaway on thehuntquarters.com right now. That $4,000 can be spent on the website on whatever you want. It's completely up to you. And if you want to enter, you have to sign up for the Throttle VIP. That automatically enters you into the contest. And if you are already a VIP user, you're automatically entered no matter what. I'll put the link down below. This runs for like the next week or so, so I'm probably gonna be reminding you every day, but that is now live and I'm super excited about that. Whoever wins that is gonna be fucking set to do whatever he wants to his car. Evan borrowed my 350Z intake and has it on his car right now. And let me tell you why, because it's actually pretty fucked up. Over the weekend, or I don't know when it was, but he came back to his car today and noticed that his intake on his car was missing and bits and pieces of his engine were disconnected. Pretty sad and fucked up to think that someone would come here 
and pull apart his motor. Though he could have done anything to this car, which is pretty scary and it's pretty shitty to think that people are going that far, would do something like that. Evan has now resorted to a temporary fix with one of my intakes, but that's pretty fucked up and really sad to think that someone would go that far. Since I'm dropping off that BMW wheel to get mounted, I'm gonna take two of my drift spares and get some other tires mounted on it. When I was at the drift event, this guy who was sponsored by Nixon, he used these and for whatever reason, took them off and he asked if I wanted them because they were the same tire specs. Uh oh, that one's gonna fall, that one's gonna fall because they're the same tire specs as my Federals. And I said, hell yeah, boy. So I got some two new fronts that are super, super grippy. So what I'm probably end up doing is taking off my RSR fronts that I'm running on the car currently and then put the Nixons on the front and try those out. And then in doing that, it gives me two brand new rears to run that barely have any tread on them. So super stoked on that. Like my radiator? Put a hole straight inside of it. Spectacular. Just dumped everything. Whose idea was it to put the jack everywhere? There? Yours. Mine. Yours. I think, no, no, no. I think we strapped it, but you put it. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, you guys problem. strapped it down, and I was like, are you sure that's enough? And you're like, yeah, it's fine. I was like, okay, like, that's probably fine. <laughs> <laughs> so we're dropping the car off at Kyle's right now. Gonna get that fixed, and then hopefully a nice shelf just to ba 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 put everything there. Oh, yeah, so you really want to try these, and huh? These are for me, right? <laughs> Fuck yeah, you. Well, are these going on my front or rear? These are going on my fronts. <laughs> are these going on my fronts? <laughs> these are going on my fronts, and I'm gonna try them out on the front and see how it does. Okay. Whenever I come to Kyle's shop, I get caught up talking for like an hour, and I always fucking shoot myself in the foot with Sabrina, because I told her I'd be home 30 minutes ago, and now that that that's way overdone. So we're heading home. Gonna make some dinner tonight, boys. Chef TJ in the house. Can I get a home, ya? Yeah? <laughs> tonight? We're making some talks. Last night we cooked ravioli and it was amazing because I was leaving the warehouse to go get lunch in the middle of the day. I was just able to bring my leftovers from last night, heat it up at the shop, and I didn't even have to leave. I brought my own lunch and I kind of liked that. And that's probably what I should be doing so I eat more healthy and just for all sorts of reasons. So we're gonna make some talks tonight. Do you like my outfit? For those who don't know what talks are, you're gonna Do know you, what talks are in a bit. Do you like my outfit? It looks great. Okay. You got a work shirt on professional from the front with oh, some oh, nice jammies and some flip flops with some hairy toes. It's <gasps> looking good. Stop. <laughs> One thing that I've noticed is now that we uh, that we live on our own and we have to buy our own groceries and do all that adult stuff. It sucks. I'm very like conscious with what I buy and I'm very like price conscious. If something's like a dollar more, I'll always go for the cheaper option. Okay there. Should I go off brands and get crispy rice? No, you can't. For that, you can't cheap out on that. You gotta get some rice crisps. I swear we only came here for two things. Here are the essential ingredients for some great talks. Get your beef, some Mexican cheese, the real secret McCormick original taco seasoning, and some corn tortillas. Now for those who know how to make food, you're probably like, oh, that's super, super easy. But for some of you out there who are like me, who can't cook for shit, this is a very, very easy way to make one of the best meals you ever have, and it tastes amazing, and everyone will think you're a great cook. The real secret to cooking some great talks is making your own shells. And while that may seem intimidating, all you do is you put some vegetable oil on a pan, and you just fry up some shells, and you just heat your meat up, and like I said, you just put the seasoning in, Whoa. and your meat, what? What? Oh, it, what, I mean, it's probably fine. Probably not. You're not the master. Um. Ease peas. Okay, because TJ's incompetent and can't do two things at once. For example, rude. Making taco shells while making meat. Next step: add the water. Oh, I forgot to drain the extra stuff, but that's okay. You charge. All around, get all the meats. TJ's struggling because he bought the wrong taco shells, but we're over here. Sabrina bought the extra thin shells and they crack instantly. Oh god though. No. Oh. TJ's talks are done! Okay, so TJ's talks when we have these buttery marshmallows. It's about time we start getting some furniture in this place because we still have nothing. I haven't even put up our TVs yet. They've been sitting over there for like a couple days. That needs to get done. We still need a kitchen table. And we don't even have Wi-Fi yet. So many things to do. Will we ever get that completed? Stay tuned and find out. I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace out and keep moving forward. I'm feeling low.